any is in part a feminist issue. Would it have made a difference if from the beginning three quarters of ME patients were men, not women? Yeah, I think it would have done. Because you take the time poverty and the stress that doctors deal with, you take the extraordinary struggle ME has had to percolate through medical institutions in the scientific community. You take the extraordinary history of the co-option of ME in some countries, at least by psychiatrists. I'm going to talk in detail about how that went wrong on my YouTube channel. You take the general kinds of injustice and misconception and prejudice that populate a doctor-patient relationship. And over and above that, you add gender discrimination. Sure, that's a tipping point of some significance. And of course, it would have worked at two levels. Once the level of you not being trusted as a teller of your experience, you've experienced something, you convey it, and the world says, nah. So the world deflates unjustly your credibility, the credibility of you as a testifier, as a teller of your experience. But the second kind of way... Um, prejudice works, gender prejudice works, is more pernicious and complex. And that's when society doesn't give you enough resources to properly make sense of your experience. So it's not just that you're clear about what happened, but the other person doesn't believe you. It's rather that you yourself are not sure what concepts to apply to your experience, how to categorize it. And the world doesn't help you with that. So you are left alone with that to swim around in some uncertainty.